What's crack a lack in Wix Nation? MPS here from Wix Training Academy, and today I'll be showing you how to start the cancellation process for your members that want to cancel, unfortunately, with the paid plan they currently have active on your website. I know there's been a lot of questions around this, so I want to help clarify this point. Before we jump into today's video, if you guys are brand new to the channel, first off, thank you very much for watching. But if you haven't already, make sure you smash that subscribe button and turn those bell notifications on. Why? Because you're not going to want to miss any content here on the channel. And more importantly, you're instantly going to join the largest Wix training community on the internet. That's right. It's a perfect place to be, an even better community, and we're here to help each other out. But without further ado... Let me show you how to go ahead and cancel someone's paid plan on your Wix website. All right, guys, so we're here in Active on a website actually my buddy and I own, and we actually teach people uh, some stock trading because both of us trade stock every single morning. But what I'm going to show you is, is we actually have people that are in a VIP program of ours that it's just a stock community. We talk about stocks and do stuff like that. And now they are currently active in here. So let me show you if one of them comes up to us and says, hey guys, listen, it's been great, but we're ready to cancel our plan. So first and foremost, what you're going to need to do is you're going to have to go to pricing plans and then you're going to have to go to purchase plans. You're then going to click that. And this is if you have the Wix paid plans app active on your Wix website. That's how this cancellation process would work. Next, Here's what I'm going to recommend you do to streamline your process. This is what Josh and I do. Is we actually, and we've got a whole Discord community. So in our Discord, we've got a link to a page on our website where there's a form. And on that form, people would fill out their information to cancel. So we collect things like their name, uh, full name, their email that they registered with, and their reason for leaving. You know, why are they leaving? And then we get those if we get them every day, call it. We, we get those reports every day on if there was any forms filled out. And then we can go through and that's where this next step comes into play. Uh, you could also just have people reach out to you directly, but my recommendation to you is streamline the process. At the moment, I know this is going to answer a lot of the questions you have. There is not currently a way for that member to just go in and cancel their account on their own. They do have to in some way, shape, or form, notify you to cancel. I know this is something Wix is working on with their Wix Paid Plans app, but it's not something they currently have. So the more streamlining you could do with like a form or a cancellation process that's very clear to your members, the easier your life is going to be because you're not going to be tracking conversations on all these different platforms and trying to manage, okay, did this person cancel? Yeah, they canceled. No. You'll have a nice easy form. You'll be able to go through and see all the people that have filled out that form, what their email was that they registered with and why. Once you have that data, you'll actually come in here to your purchased plans page. This is where you'll be able to view all of your active plans, pending plans, canceled plans, and you'll be able to manage them. So let's just say we go into this plan right here, right? He's currently on a free trial of ours. We would click this. And then once we come into here, what you would do is if you're ready to cancel this individual, you would press cancel purchase. Now, I'm not actually going to cancel because he's not actually canceling. But you would cancel purchase and then all that would do is it would go ahead and cancel the purchase. And then it would look like this right here where it says canceled. This individual has canceled and it shows the plan status and it'll say canceled under it. And then that then stops their subscription and it cancels and then it'll allow them access on your website to whatever that next billing date would be. And then obviously their card is not going to run anymore after that so they no longer will receive access after that. And that's how the cancellation process works here in Wix Paid Plans. I figured I would give you a live and actual physical website that I own and how that process works so you could go ahead and see so it cuts out a lot of that confusion because I know there was a lot of confusion around this process simply for the fact that members cannot cancel on their own. You have to actually manually do it. Now I'm hoping Wix streamlines this soon enough. I know it's on their docket, but at the moment it's not the case. So the more streamlining you can do on your end, the easier your life will be and more productive it'll be as well. 
If you guys enjoyed this video, I would kindly ask that you go ahead and give me a thumbs up. It's much appreciated. Comment if you have any questions about Wix paid plans, this video, or any other videos you'd like to see. Please comment. And then lastly, if you haven't already, make sure to smash that subscribe button and turn those bell notifications on, guys, because you're not going to want to miss all the great content we've got happening here. And I've got a new little partnership in the works, which is super exciting. So that's always good news. And you'll instantly join the largest witch training community on the internet, which means in the world. And that's a pretty cool thing to say, right? You get to be a part of that, and I'd love to have you here. Thank you again for watching today's video. I'll catch you in our next one.